In this video, I'd like to talk about the tasking module. The intent of this module is to allow you to create a task and send it to another colleague or a user within your facility. So let's go over it. If you look on the left, there's a new folder item called tasking. It shows number one. And up above, there's an icon that shows that you have a task. When you click on the icon, it'll take you right into the tasking module. And here's the window that shows that you have a task. When it was entered, the subject, who it's assigned to, Let's go ahead and click to open that task. When you click on the task, if a patient is associated with this task, it will pull the patient's chart. You'll see up here the patient's name. It's entirely possible to create a task without a patient selected. So it could be a task to one of your support staff, instructing them to do something, or a request, or whatever it is. You can also create a task to yourself to remind you to do something at a particular time kind of like a to-do list. So here's this task. We've got a subject, and that line is editable. We can type here. The second window here is a read-only line, and you can't type in this window, although it looks like you can. Down below it says new note, and this is really the area where you can type. So this is where you put your note. We'll tell the nurse to please call this patient back and schedule appointment in two weeks. And I may assign this task to my support staff, my nurse, and here I'll select nurse. This will remember the last five assignees. If you'd like to search on somebody within your facility, you can click on the little button next to it, and that'll bring up a search window. In an upcoming build, you'll be able to assign cross-facility. Here's the patient. You can search for a patient. And you can also associate an encounter with this particular task. There's some parameters, priority status, active date. There's a private button. That means that no one else in the facility can see this task. Only you and the person that you're assigning it to. If you left it as public, anyone can see this task. You can say track this item and complete it if it's complete. So let's give it to the nurse and hit save. Okay, I'd like to go through a one scenario that's likely and that's you're here in the assessment and plan and you need to ask the nurse to call the patient back for a follow-up appointment, say in two weeks, because the patient left and you're working on the assessment and plan right now. If you look at the top, there's no tasking button. But if you close this window and get to the summary screen, right here, you'll see a forward task button. You can go ahead and click that, and it'll open up this new task window. But I'd like to take you back now to the assessment and plan screen, and I want to show you another way to get to the tasking module from this window, because this is where you're doing your assessment plan, and you might decide you need to fire off a task from here. Go up to the File menu and click New Task. And what that'll do is that'll bring up a window. You say Yes, and it'll associate the task with this patient, and this window will pop up. But what you need to do is, if you want to associate this encounter with this task, you need to click on the Encounter button, and then select the open encounter that you're working on at the time. Generally, there will only be one, so you'll just associate the one. If you did it the other way, the first way I showed you, it'll automatically pre-fill that information. So you could select to give this to the nurse, you could put a priority, and you could type in the subject, please schedule this patient for two weeks. And down below you could say, saw patient today, patient is gone, please call patient for follow-up in two weeks and please schedule this for the patient and call this patient back on the TSH that was done today or whatever it is that you need uh, them to do. And then you can say track this item and let's pretend this is a high priority and then we'll save it. And then I could finish this note. I'm done with the plan and I go to disposition and sign. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is sort of the perspective from what the nurse would see. Now that person would go into the tasking module. I'm logged in as me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the options and say show me all for this clinic and hit OK. I'll see the tasks that are assigned to other people here that are not private. Let's take this one, Wonderlick. It'll open. I'll see the note here and I see that there's an encounter associated with this task. To view that encounter, go up to the top left where it says open encounter, that icon. Click on that and that'll take you right to that encounter that you could go and review and see what's going on with this patient. This is a great way to informally get a consult with another colleague at the facility asking that person to take a look at this chart to see what they think 
if they want to write a note there, they can. And there's one last thing down here. It says append this note to associate encounter. There's a checkbox. If you want to put the notation here and append it to the encounter, you click that button and it goes to the add note section of that encounter.